So we'd like to welcome everybody out to our Job Nimbus 101 workshop today. We're super excited that you were able to join us. Today, we are going to be talking about how to keep your team on the same page using the boards feature. I'm Dan. My name's Logan. We're happy to have you here today. So boards in Job Nimbus are a lot like the whiteboard you might keep on your office wall to keep track of all your projects. You got a number of columns that you drop things into, so it's easy to see, oh, who's where, what needs to be done next. Uh, one of the big advantages that we have over the uh, whiteboard on your wall is that if you lean against your wall, you're not going to erase any data. <laughs> and I find that to be pretty exciting. Uh, boards are a, they're a flagship feature for Job Nimbus. We care a lot about them and we think that they'll make your jobs a lot easier. Now, one note to make about boards before we dig into them is boards only show information. They can manipulate information just by moving something from one column to the next so it changes status. But if you need to add in a new step to your workflow for like getting a permit or something like that, uh, you can't do that in your board. You'll need to first work on your workflow, change that up, then incorporate it into your board. People make that mistake all the time, just want to get that out of the way early. So with that being said, let's take a look at what boards are. Awesome. Thank you, Logan. So when you first open up Job Nimbus, you'll see your dashboard here. To get to your boards, you'll want to click on either contacts or jobs, uh, depending on what you are using in your company. Let's look at contacts. A lot of times when you click on either contacts or jobs, you'll see this list. This is not your boards. Click on board. This is your boards. As you notice, we have a lot of boards here. These are actually the default boards that Job Nimbus includes in a certain accounts. Um, but you'll, you'll either see these uh, boards or the boards that you've already created for your company. As you notice, there are a lot here and they're color coded. Um, we actually have these boards separated by different sections of the workflow. So here we have our sales section, our office approval section, production and billing. This is so the sales team, the office team, the production and billing, they know exactly which board to go into to look at the contacts, to move contacts through the workflow and all that. It just makes it super easy for them so that they know exactly where to go to find the information that they need to find. We've noticed a lot of companies will, either, will some companies will put all of their statuses in one board and some companies will put a break it out like this. Uh, it really depends on how you work in your company and how you want to build your boards, but we suggest you break your boards out into different sections like this. It just makes it so much easier to find what you need to find. So that being said, let's actually go into a board and take a look at it. Now that we're in a board, you'll notice that we have different columns here. These are lists in your board. And in each column, you'll notice that we have a whole bunch of cards. These cards, you'll see I have the display name of the contact, has the amount of time or the days that they've been in this status. As you see, there are 260 days. Uh, we need to get things moving. <laughs> and you'll see down here with Richard, you'll see that we have a couple of numbers here. This one right here is the, amount, uh, the number of tasks that have been created for this uh, contact and the amount of tasks that have been completed. And then right here, we have the number of attachments that are uploaded to the contacts file, whether that be documents or photos. Lastly, over here, we have the, a, we can see who is assigned to this contact. Right here, we have Daniel and Charlie. So that right there is the information that you can see on your cards right away, just to help you and see and help you find what you're looking, what you're looking for. Now, if you want to uh, move your contacts through your workflow or through your boards, that's super easy. All you need to do is drag and drop your contact into a new column, and that will automatically update that contact status in their workflow. Boards are pretty cool, right? <laughs> so let's look at how you can build a new one. Every account comes with some just to start out with. Uh, but every business is different. You're going to have your own thing to do. So you probably guessed this part already. To start making a new board, we click on the gray square with the plus button. It's going to bring us to this screen. We want to make a new board. So we're going to give it a name. And we need to give it a color. 
Uh, I'd like to go with a nice puke green. So let's take a look at that. That's that's pretty pukey. Yeah, th that, there yeah, we that go. Looks... That's very pukey. Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so then we can set the type. If you're in jobs, the first word here will be job and staff contact. If you have work orders turned on, you can use these to keep track of your work orders and where they are in their separate workflows as well. It's just one or the other. We change who it's available to, just me, all team members, or if you have groups, you can also use groups. Now, if it's set to all team members, your limited access users still will only be able to see the things that are specifically theirs. So you don't have to worry about your sales guys seeing each other's stuff. Remember, this is just a way to view data. It doesn't change it or change permissions regarding it. So once we've got that set up, let's add a list. The list are those columns or buckets that you saw on the last page. Uh, so we're gonna make a list. And we wanna set it so that things that are of a specific status will appear here. At the beginning, it'll be all workflows. So I can set this as leads for every workflow. Or if I have something specific I want, like I'm gonna make this residential leads, I can put that in here. And you always search first by workflow and then everything will appear in workflow order. You can add multiple statuses to the same box. Sometimes that comes up where you want to do that for various reasons. So let's add two here. Let's go ahead and save it. And you notice that there's also the sort options. Let's take a look at those. So we're going to make another list. We're going to give this its own status as well. You'll notice that uh, it's going to start at the next available status, the status is for lead and callback. I can't put twice in the same board. It would look really weird. So our sort can be descending or ascending. And it starts as a default days in status. So the oldest things will appear first. Usually that's what you have to take care of. But you can set it to just about any property in job Nimbus, including any of your custom fields. So we could say, oh, I want this ordered by who's making the most money on the most recent estimate or most recent invoice, I could have it set by sales rep. I'm just gonna leave this as days in status and save that. And uh, yeah, I think that's about all there is to a board. Wait, there's more. So a lot of times we find that people want to look at very specific data in their boards. And you can do this by adding a filter. To add a filter, simply click on add filter. This will pull up a drop down menu where you can choose between these and different types of filters to add to your board. Let's actually pull up assigned to to take a look at filters. We can filter the board by whoever is viewing it. They'll only see the uh, contacts that they're assigned to. We can look at a specific team member. So let's take a look at only contacts that are assigned to Gerald. Now we can also take a look at every single contact that is assigned to all, uh, all team members except for Gerald by clicking on exclude. Once you have found a, once you've really specified what data you want to look at, you can click apply and that will just really help you hone in on specific contacts that you really need to look at in specific boards. Now, since that's done, we can save the board and it, you see it shows up right here, new board on our boards. All right. Thanks everybody for coming and spending some time with us. We've got all of our previous webinars recorded on YouTube. So feel free to search Job Nimbus on YouTube and you'll get a whole list. If you'd rather read than watch, we've got a knowledge base with a bunch of articles about anything Job Nimbus you could hope for, support.jobnimbus.com. And if what you really need is just to talk to somebody in person and uh, get that one-on-one -on -one touch, feel free to call our support team at that number down at the bottom and they'll be happy to answer any questions. Thanks so much for spending time with us. Have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.